Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Debbie and this is my Vagabond style. Today I'm doing something a little different. I had a couple of requests and people like to see your workspace. So I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and film where I create and you know, it's nothing fancy. It's just uh, an office that we have that I turned into my art studio. And the nice thing is that uh, my husband doesn't he doesn't even use this space like it's all mine he has a little tiny desk spot right outside my door and he is very supportive with my craziness so anyway I'm going to kind of show you what I've got going on and I'm doing this on my phone I normally never record on my phone so let me see if I can flip this around okay so I had to shut the shutters because it is really sunny out today as we come in here, these two totes right here, I, I haven't gone through yet. Just kind of reorganized everything. And that right there, my little inspiration board will go up here on the wall. And these cabinets, a dear, dear friend gave them to me. And I love them. This has like changed my life here. So somebody also had asked how I store my magazines. And I just change the way I store them and I really like it. I have like all my Daphne diaries down here and then some other uh, like what are those Somerset Studios and then National Geographics and then just you know all the other go-to ones that I use I have in here and that's worked out great. And then like up here are projects that I'm working on. Those are my project baskets and then this is just like material and oh my gosh it goes on and on beads up here is mixed media stuff old broken jewelry different things like that and then in this one let me shut these in this one I have like all my rubber stamps and oh my goodness um <laughs> All the other crafts that I've ever done, like, <laughs> are up here. Uh, yarn, up here is some, I wanted to do fidget blankets. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's for people that have dementia. They fidget a lot, and so that's my stuff for fidget blankets. And, yeah, it gets a little crazy down here, but the good thing of these cabinets is they don't show everything, only the top half. So I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to get some material and maybe go on the inside of them <clears throat> and so that way you won't even see inside there and then I have another little cabinet over here in the corner where I keep my sewing machine and when I need it I just bring it over to this little table here and there's a few little extra storage items in there I have like my jelly plate stuff in there but uh, this little table I've had forever and it's just kind of followed me so um, I use this sometimes for projects that I'm working on. I also do pottery now. So <laughs> I've been making these cute little quail and they're about ready to be bisque fired. And there'll be five babies and a mom and a dad. So working on those. And now here's my old pie safe. I can't get rid of this. I have a love hate relationship with this cabinet. <laughs> it's very, very old. And I keep all of my, up here in the top is all of my junk journal stuff. A lot of ephemera I've made that just needs to go into journals. And then down here is just paper. And in this part right here, this is actual jewelry that uh, I used to sell vintage. And so I kept all my costume jewelry and I, I need to... Think about listing it on maybe Instagram or something like that. And then down here's more art supplies. And on this side, up here, more art supplies. Um, more ink for my printer. These are all, all journals that I'm working on. And then down below, that's for my stained glass class that I do. <laughs> As you can tell, I have a lot of hobbies. And then, again, I think this would look great if I 
put some material on the inside so you don't see everything that's in there. I think it'll look much cleaner. And this is just some fun little stuff. I love my little tchotchkes. Oh, and there I am when I was in the military. Go Navy. This is my desk. Also, my dear, dear friends that gave me the two cabinets, they gave me this desk too. <laughs> so, oops, I got my door open here. I love this desk. It's much longer than my old one. And I've got my setup here. And uh, my alley cats. Love my alley cats. I got those in Colorado at an estate sale. Uh, they're wood and like a metal. I love, love them. Then here's where I store all of, not all of them, but who am I kidding? Some books and things. These are projects that I'm working on also. Um, a lot of printouts are down here. As I'm working, I love to use this little vintage tray. It's so cute. It is like a barbecue type tin. I don't know. It's very cute. Anyway, uh, there is my watercolor to go pack. It's got all my watercolors and brushes in there. I take watercolor classes as well. And yeah, that's about it. So that concludes the room tour. And I also wanted to introduce you to one of my co-producers. This is Sadie. Yes, she's in charge of makeup. <laughs> she helps me so much. Well, not really, but she's she's here. <laughs> she uh, we've actually we adopted her from Mexico. She's a little street dog. When they found her, she was pregnant and dirty. Like she didn't even look like a white dog. And uh, she was living across the street from my gas station. And this little uh, lady that had a little taqueria would come over every day and feed her. And when she was about ready to have the puppies, she took her to a rescue. And so they took her in. And then we ended up with her. So anyway, this thank you so much for being here and coming back and watching my videos. I so appreciate you guys and hope that you have a wonderful new year, prosperous and healthy, and I will catch you next time. Bye.